landing page for my final project draft. Um, so I'm doing what's in a map and analysis of John Smith's 1612 map of Virginia. And my intended audience is going to be fourth graders, but probably fourth through sixth graders and most likely in Virginia since it'll hopefully fit into their curriculum. I've built it so that it's um, something, it's set up kind of like just a, a hyperdoc so they can be led through it by a teacher as a group or ideally or possibly on their own. So we have our essential questions that just help set up what we're going to be getting into um, and then we'll discuss as a group what we might need to know in order to answer those questions and create a brainstormed list of other inquiries they might have. And then we have our explanation of the project as a whole. It just walks through what they'll be doing first, watching the video, <clears throat> getting some historical context, and then analyzing the map, and then creating their own map. And then put this here. I might put it earlier, I'm not sure. Um, but just as a first look at our our primary source material and then this is going to be a video that I'm making it's just not at the point where I can put it in here yet um, and this will be a quick review of our historical context so the Virginia Company of London of John Smith and the creation of Virginia and kind of where we are in 1612 and then I have our analysis slideshow so they'll walk through this um, and this is just examples of um, details that reveal kind of what John Smith's point of view was, what his audience might have picked up on, um, and I'm definitely going to be adding to this. And then at the end, I'm going to have a slide that'll have them maybe take notes or discuss with a partner and try to answer those first two essential questions. And then this is their activity. So with all of that information, they've been tasked with creating their own map that will persuade investors and potential settlers to take an interest in their own town. So let's see if this will open. And here's just another explanation of the activity. At the end, they'll have um, time to write a paragraph where they can share with the class and explain why their map is persuasive. And then I have some base maps, very, very simple <laughs> base maps that they can then drag and drop or uh, copy and paste some of these features. I'll be adding to this as well. This is just um, some starting ones. Um, and then use text box, you know, use their creativity and their knowledge to create their own map. And that's what I have so far. <laughs>